Welcome, Giorgio. How is your friend, Capello Giallo Grande? <laughs> oh, I can't play. I'm making a very special meal for famous restaurant critic, Sally Tessio. Oh, hi. <laughs> when she likes a place, business booms. So it's very important that everything be perfect. She has the delicate taste. You said there'd be fresh bread. <laughs> I don't see any bread here. Well, her taste is delicate. <laughs> but her voice, uh, not so much. This hard stuff was spaghetti? Didn't smell like anything. George wanted to replace his broken piece. He'd seen the chef put the rest of it in the pot. It didn't smell like much, and the steam coming out was hot. George had to be careful. It had changed. Maybe, maybe it wasn't just donut makers. Maybe all kitchens were magic. Here was a pot that turned crisp things into floppy things. <sighs> Who turned my plain pasta into crowded spoon soup? Somehow, floppification didn't work on spoons. There isn't one cherry tomato in this salad. You promise cherry tomatoes. <laughs> well, I... Oh, oh, don't. Wait. No, please. I... I, uh. oh, I don't like this at all. But it smells good. She was right. The longer that stuff stayed in the floppifying pot, the better it smelled. Do you know there's a cat and a monkey in your kitchen? Oh. <laughs> uh, the monkey uh, made the stew. Ooh, quite good. Oh, but you said you don't like it. If you made it, it's no good. But for a monkey, woohoo! What's his recipe? Well, uh... Never mind, I got it. Chef Biscetti didn't scold George much, but he insisted George clean up the mess he made. Oh, you're lucky you got the four hands. You can do things twice as quickly. <laughs> I wish I knew how you chose these ingredients. Asparagus. The green spears turned out nice and floppy. One hard-boiled egg. Egg didn't look floppy at all. Eggs don't floppify. <laughs> they get harder. A lot of cheese. And cheese becomes goop. <laughs> Cooking seemed to have no rules at all. I'm done! You said there'd be cookies. Please, this dish was excellent. What do you call it? Sudden emergency ravioli. And a meatball. Four stars. And another star for the meatball. I'll give your monkey a star, too. Oh, I'm so generous. Hot cookies coming up as promised. How did he make that into that? Maybe kitchens aren't magic. Maybe... It's cooks who are magic. Yoki, how you can lose so many balls, huh? <laughs> Any day that starts out just smelling <laughs> and ends with a cookie <laughs> is a pretty great day. <laughs>